Horror Flicks 101. In the quiet suburban neighborhood of Willowbrook, where the streets were lined with charming houses and the evenings were usually tranquil. A babysitting experience would unfold that would forever haunt the memories of a young girl named Emily. On an ordinary Friday night, Emily, a responsible and caring teenager, arrived at the Thompson residence. Her duties were simple, watch over their three children while the parents attended a dinner party. The house itself was large and inviting, filled with cozy corners and laughter echoing from the walls. As the parents prepared to leave, Mrs. Thompson provided Emily with instructions, emphasizing the importance of adhering to the children's bedtime routine. The children Lucy, Ben, and little Ellie were excited, their giggles filling the air as they anticipated an evening of fun and games with their babysitter. The evening began as most babysitting nights do. Emily and the children played games, watched cartoons, and enjoyed their favorite snacks. The laughter of the children was infectious, and for a while, everything felt idyllic. As the evening wore on, Emily diligently followed the parents' instructions, she tucked them in, read a bedtime story, and turned off the lights. It was supposed to be a routine babysitting night. Yet, as the house grew silent, a sense of unease began to creep over Emily. She couldn't shake the feeling that she was not alone in the house, that there were other, unseen occupants. The hours passed, and Emily tried to put her fear to rest, dismissing it as a result of the eerie silence that settled over the house. She busied herself with tasks and hoped to distract her mind from the growing dread. Suddenly, in the darkness, Emily heard it, an indistinct whisper, barely audible, like a soft breeze brushing against her ear. She strained to listen but couldn't make out any words. It was as if the shadows themselves were murmuring secrets to her. Suddenly, in the darkness, Emily heard it, an indistinct whisper, barely audible, like a soft breeze brushing against her ear. With trembling hands, Emily turned off the toy and sighed in relief. She reassured herself that the whisper was nothing more than a malfunctioning gadget, a harmless coincidence. Returning to her post, she glanced at the children one last time before settling in on the couch, determined to finish the evening without further disruptions. The minutes ticked away, and just as Emily felt herself relaxing, the whisper returned, even more insistent. This time, the voice was unmistakable, as if it came from the shadows themselves. The whisper spoke her name, a chilling and sinister imitation of a child's voice. It beckoned her to come closer, to uncover its secrets. Trembling, Emily approached the source of the voice, which seemed to emanate from the basement door. She could feel an invisible force pulling her closer, as if a malevolent presence lurked in the darkness below. With a deep breath, Emily summoned her courage and opened the basement door. The stairs descended into the inky blackness, and as she took the first step, her flashlight revealed something that sent shivers down her spine. At the bottom of the stairs, illuminated by the faint beam of her flashlight, Emily saw a wall covered in drawings, twisted, nightmarish sketches of a creature with elongated limbs and soulless eyes. It was a depiction of pure horror. And then, from the shadows, the whisper came once more, but this time it was louder, more demanding. It urged Emily to stay, to continue uncovering the story told by the grotesque drawings. Paralyzed by fear, Emily tried to resist the voice's pull, but it was as if an invisible hand was guiding her every movement. Hours passed, and by the time the parents returned home, they found Emily, pale, trembling, and on the verge of madness. She recounted the horrifying ordeal, but the drawings had vanished, leaving only a sense of dread in their wake. The Thompsons couldn't comprehend the terror that had unfolded in their own home. They comforted Emily, thanking her for protecting their children, but the malevolent entity that lurked in the basement had left its mark on their lives. It was a night that forever changed the meaning of babysitting in the quiet neighborhood of Willowbrook. Check my link tree link in my description or bio to make your life better.
Thanks for watching.